We are Ashley and Jordan, and since May of 2019, we've been traveling the world full-time. In our last video, we arrived to Budapest, Hungary, and explored the Christmas markets and the Pest side of the city. Today, we head across the Danube for a walking tour of Buda before ending our time in Hungary with one more trip to the Christmas market. We are on our way to lunch. We're heading to a place called Hummus Bar, which if you remember, if you watched our Lisbon, Portugal vlog, we stopped there and we loved it. They have a bunch of locations here in Budapest as well. So we're gonna head there for lunch, get some falafel, some hummus, some pita bread, and enjoy it. Today we have a full day of exploring. Today we're gonna explore the Buddha side. Yesterday we did Pest, today we're gonna do Buddha. So lunch was delicious as always. We highly recommend the hummus bar. And now we are going to hop on the tram, go straight up the river over to the chain bridge, which is the famous iconic bridge that everybody walks on in Budapest. You'll know it when you see it. We're gonna check that out and then head over to the Buddha side because that's kind of where we're hanging out for the afternoon. And eventually around two, we're supposed to be doing another of those walking tours like we did yesterday, but this time for the Buddha side. So let's go. Before we begin our day in Buda, we wanted to make a somber but important stop on the Pesh side of the banks of the river. Here lining the Danube's edge are 60 pairs of shoes sculpted in iron. This installation commemorates the thousands of people who were shot into the river during World War II. The shoes of the victims were often removed before their execution, and this sculpture allows us to see what the aftermath of these atrocities would have looked like. Nothing left but shoes on the Danube. We are here in front of the chain bridge, which I believe is formerly known as the Shichenyi Chain Bridge. It was opened in 1849 and was the first bridge to connect Buda and Pest. It's a gorgeous suspension bridge and it has pedestrian walking paths along both sides, so it's super popular to walk along and get that iconic Budapest picture. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do. We are gonna take it in and stroll across and hop over to our tour, which starts in about 45 minutes over in Buda. Walking across the gorgeous Sachenyi chain bridge, you get views of Budapest's best angles. This chain bridge is the oldest in Budapest. For centuries, only a pontoon bridge connected Buda and Pest. But in the mid 1800s, the permanent suspension bridge was completed. We highly recommend taking a walk across the bridge, especially at night, to see the Parliament building sparkling on the water. After meeting up with our tour group in front of the Holy Trinity statue at Matthias Church, our tour begins. Our first fun fact was about our meeting place, the Holy Trinity statue. This monument was erected in the late 1600s as a protection from the plague and as thanks for the plague ending. You can actually find similar statues all around major European cities, usually depicting the monarchs of the time and religious scenes showing the piety of the people and the cities all built in hopes of being spared by a horrible disease. Just next to Matthias Church is the impressive Fisherman's Bastion. These days, it's a fun complex to explore and get views of Pest, but originally it was built as part of Buda Castle in the late 1800s. The name Fisherman's Bastion actually comes from the belief that in medieval times, the castle was protected by a guild of fishermen that lived below in Fishtown. We 
We eventually made our way past the Hungarian president's house and on to Buda Castle. This complex was first completed in 1265, but the massive Baroque palace we see today was built between 1749 and 1769. The castle was again rebuilt after it was partially destroyed in World War II. courtyard of Buda Castle, we come to an impressive fountain monument known as the Matthias Fountain. Sometimes called the Trevi Fountain of Budapest, this grand water feature depicts the story of King Matthias on a hunt. The legend goes that King Matthias went hunting in disguise, which he often did so he could observe what was really going on in his kingdom. Well, that will wrap up our day out here in Buda, the Buda side of Budapest. We had a walking tour for two hours, the same company as yesterday, but this time with the new guide, she did an excellent job. And I would say, even if you come without a guide, just on your own, the castle district over here is a beautiful place to explore and quite a bit more calm than the Pest side. So that will wrap up today. Good day. Tomorrow is our last full day in Budapest and we still have a handful of things to do. So we'll see you in the morning. Welcome back to the Christmas market, you guys. Jordan and I had a bit of a morning. We took it to ourselves, essentially. We took the morning off. And then we were gonna go out and do some more like museum-y things. But we were hungry and rushed, and we said, you know what? Never mind. Let's go to the Christmas market during the day when it's not busy, get some lunch, and be happy. And so that's what we're doing. I have ordered us a two potato pancakes, which I love. Like, I've had all kinds. I've had Polish ones, German ones. I've never had Hungarian ones. They're really good, y'all. They seem to be topped with, like, literally anything. Kind of like they do the Longos, like meat or cheese or whatever. We got just a plain sour cream and then a sour cream and cheese. Pumped. We're gonna hopefully find some mold wine, something else. I don't know. We're just gonna explore daytime Christmas markets and be chill. <laughs> So we just got some red mold wine from the stand that you see behind me. It's actually a really unique looking stand. It has hot cocktails. They have red and white mold wine. They have teas as well. And they also have something called grog, which we learned is an orange or lemon type hot drink that has rum or whiskey in it of your choice. We didn't get that. We got the red mold wine. It's really good. It was only 600 quarant per medium cup, which is like two USD. But yeah, it's really good. Enjoy it. This mold wine has got to be one of my favorites we've had, and I'm real tempted to go back and try the white and the grog and the hot tea because they were all really affordable. And like day drinking at Christmas is okay, right? Yeah. You almost ran into a child in a stroller. On this cold December day, we are on our merry way. Okay, 
So we came here on our walking tour of Pesh, but we didn't get a chance to see this statue here. It's a police officer and he's dressed in an outfit from the 19th century. And the story goes that basically if you rub his belly and his nose, then you won't get fat when eating lots of Hungarian food. If you don't know, Hungarian food is very heavy, very hearty and homey. And if you eat too much of it, you can gain a lot of weight. So we're gonna rub his belly, rub his nose, and maybe get a few more potato pancakes, a few glasses of mulled wine. We'll see. Okay, maybe just one glass of mulled wine. On this cold December day, I am piloting my sleigh. The work to be done on my Christmas run is the most tired chore. No girl aboard. All right, so we walked just, I don't know, eight minutes down the street to the second largest Christmas market here in Budapest, which is the one in front of the Basilica, which is the beautiful sunlit building behind me. It is gorgeous at this hour. And we just figured, hey, since we're out here, let's go walk around this one and see what we see. We didn't get a chance to see it the other day when it was super crowded on Saturday night. So this is a perfect time. This day at the Christmas markets, I got a cup of the grog, which is the citrusy one, and you choose whatever sort of brown liquor you want. I went with rum per the guy's recommendation, and it looks really good. It's kind of a tea color, you know? It smells really nice. It smells like mulled wine, honestly. Wow. It's a bit sweeter. It could be from the rum as well. And it's quite citrusy, which makes sense, obviously. It's quite different than mulled wine, and I expected it to be real similar, but it's nice. It's brighter. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah. It's nice. Well, that's gonna wrap up our time here at the Christmas market. And unfortunately, it's gonna wrap up our time here in Budapest, Hungary. We had such a wonderful time, although it was very short. We'll see y'all at our next destination. Anyway, that will wrap up today. We're gonna go back home, make some dinner and chill out before our last final day here in Why is she not warming as a pole behind me? <laughs> you did that on purpose. I didn't. I didn't do it on purpose. On this cold December day.